challenge, Uzakai? I was born ready. Only quoting from someone else here, but I'm ready now. For what exactly? Follow the trail of plants that starts here. It should lead you to a special reward. If you're as skilled as you pretend to be, there will be more pleasant surprises. I will keep my eyes peeled. Then. Leave your eyes alone. Yeah, easy. Let's slice this puppy open. See what's inside. Cutter to Liaz. I didn't follow that trail for nothing, right? What was that about? Orem trails. Talk to Weasel. I heard he's quite the expert. I'm marking his last known location on your map. Thanks for the tip. Slay out. Here they come. All out. of killer birds, just what I need. alien plants I have to find. I hate giant alien spiders.
no way I'm getting used to this. Yes, now this will help.
is gonna fall off. to me. That should be a theme park ride. The place where we met. What is it? You mean the Ganda Temple? On this side of Adalpha, you'll find one temple for each of the four essences. They're the oldest structures on the planet. And the Talans didn't build them. Who did then? No one really knows. We believe the ancients left them behind, just like the Daokas. Daokas and temples shared the same architecture, and they are connected to the Yod's realm in ways we don't fully comprehend. So who does comprehend then? Essences have a strong presence in the temples. Talans from all over Adelpha used to visit them before the creation of Palana. Anatok was the first master of ceremonies who built Palana way before my cycles. He told his contemporary Darusham keepers that he had found a way to contact the ancients. It is said that soon after he made this claim, he disappeared one moon and never returned. These scrolls were lost with the destruction of the Dano Library in Procriana. Did you get a chance to read the scrolls before they got lost? No. But Zokrim told Yan what the scroll said, and Yan told me. So one moon, I hope I can tell my own daughter. Dolotai guardians are the protectors of Adelpha, which means we are also the guardians of its oldest legends and traditions. It's you. All right.
least the water's warm. Giant alien spiders. Target bird. All out. Ooh, not feeling good. Another glowing flower.
not this way. Wrong way, Slade. I think I'm going the wrong way. I think I'm going the wrong way. No, not this way. inside. are trying to show me something with these visions. But what? What do you want to see, Mommy? Uh, let's talk a little bit first, baby girl. Just you and me. Come here. Whoa. You brought me a present? From another world? Oh, well, technically another dimension. <sighs> sure. My friend Zokra must have stashed it there before I... It's for you. Here. The necklace! It glows! It's an amulet. Made out of one of the magic stones they have on Adelpha. Mom got one too? It must look so good on her. Listen, Camilla. I have to tell you something. You'll have to be strong, baby girl. That's the amulet Lias was looking for when we met. Guess I had it after all. Before I gave it to Camilla. Hello, Shaman. You return. Can you heal me? I gotta go now. Yeah, it's blue.
do you want? Morag fruit. They taste good? My citizens eat nothing else. The Morag nourishes, moisturizes, purifies our essence. Talans from every corner of Adelpha used to come here and pay many Zorkins for its unique taste. You're making me hungry, Chief. Where can I... You can have your fill if you climb to the top of a tree. But don't let Grand Foreman Moore see you stealing one. He's far... What's Moore's problem? Moore is a retired harvester from the treetops who dreams of becoming chief. But treetops people are simple people. One needs a certain downbringing to lead. Downbringing? You mean upbringing, right? I mean class and dignity. Only citizens of the ground have good social standing. The treetops are for uneducated people, rude people. One cannot learn class, especially someone like Moore. Always a... So the lower class is at the top, and you have to work your ass off to the bottom to access the upper society. Weird logic. Where I'm from, the top is prime real estate. Only the less fortunate Talans live in the treetops. The young ones dream of climbing down the ladder of our society. Just like I did. Your social logic is really upside down. Who wants to be down on the ground? The view's amazing up there. Views don't pay, Ulukai. Morags pay. If I don't find harvesters, the citizens of Emir will be eating reese for every meal, and that idiot Hatzo will blame me for the recession. He'll toss me back up to the treetops. I'll be forced to watch sunsets from a wooden terrace instead of cleaning the dirt between my toes. A nightmare. Yeah, that sounds terrible. I wish I could help ease your pain. You could help me sooner than you think. Have you met Doc? He's a simple-minded lad, a big fan of the Ulakai fairy tale, a dreamer, but a damn good climber. Hey, I like fairy tales, or some of them, at least. Doc was my best worker, unaware of his essence. He could climb higher than anyone. I had great hopes for him. What happened? Cosmere happened. Cosmere was Doc's father. Good for nothing slacker who fancied himself a treasure hunter. But he never found his treasure, so he never climbed down. He reverted himself in the lake searching for Yard knows what. Now Doc has caught his father's madness. He left the treetops to become the new fool in town. A fool who believes in me. I mean, who believes in Ulukai. Sounds like a great guy. Doc has been spending all his hard-earned Zorkins on a secret project, taken straight out of a children's story. He refuses to return to work. But an Ulakai like you can succeed where I fail. Could you convince him to embrace his essence and What can you tell me about Doc's? I don't know anything about it. I just hope it's not the one that got Casmir reverted. I gotta go now. Yes, you.
Just what I need. Look who's back, Adelpha. They're on me! Oh, worst stench ever! I hate giant alien spiders. later on. the heart out of that gork plant. The smell stopped instantly. I guess that's a good sign? That's wonderful. And just in time. The gork eruptions infected Atalan. Chief Hatso had to cage him because of his erratic behavior. You should check on him. Can't say I'm looking forward to it, but I will. Slate out.
Wrong target, bird. Let's open this thing. Of course. Hi there.
We have... You don't know? I am Zotil, the most spectacular we... Um... Let me know if you're willing... Have you spoken to Doc recently? Doc is a strange customer with strange requests. I broke three needles trying to sew his waterproof suit together. But hey, he pays. And Zorkins are never strange, are they, stranger? What do you think about... Ah, more! We have a juicy working relationship. He saves me the most colorful morags. Morag pigments are the secret of my creations. Don't tell a soul. And I do what I can to spread the word about his campaign to become the next chief. Do you agree? His clothing decisions? Yes. Hatso is one of my best customers. And Mia needs a sharply dressed leader, don't you think? <laughs> Hello? There's somewhere... I love that blue helidium. Do you need a Gandali pot? I'm sure you didn't call to flatter me, the ass, so. What do you want? To humbly offer you a token of the Dolotai Guardian's gratitude. I've marked a position on your map. It's a surprise. A mystery prize? You definitely know how to push my buttons, the ass. I can't wait to look this up. Slate out. <laughs> there. Yes? What's a Daoka? They're circular portals that connect different locations. We Talans have built our villages. Do you know anything about the Alma Yell and the females are the highest caste in Talan society. They live in Kizar, an island from where they used to rule and protect the children. They used to. Kizar is completely isolated from the rest of Adelpha, and the Almayel don't communicate with our leaders anymore. The Shamazes are the only males allowed in the city outside of the Okastak celebration, but even a Shamaz must be summoned by the Almayel before he can visit. Since the spear arose, no one gets in or out what can you tell me about? Morags are delicious fruits that grow in the highest treetops of the meat. See you around. Come back.
Hello, Shamaz Nemet. You return? Can you heal me? Brace yours. I gotta go. Yachts. I don't see many Talans packing heat around here. Nice bow. Thank you. I am Azan, protector of Emiya. Cutter Slade, aka the Ulakai, or so I'm told. This place seems peaceful enough. You never know when the Kaminai will strike. When it does, I'll be ready for it. Ah, uh, who are. Azan. Are Cam and I dangerous? Not after I nailed their wings to a tree. My aim is true. So you're more of a hunter with... I am a protector. Citizens of Emiya don't hunt. We do not eat meat. How come you're still shooting your bow? Isn't Hatso the one calling the shots around here? Hatso has been our chief for many moons now. But there are people criticizing his policies. They want to... I thought traveling all the way to another dimension would spare me from politicians. How do you like Zuti? Uh, I bought my pants in his shop. My only pair of pants. I don't know why he always makes faces when he sees me. That's not how you treat a customer. You only have one pair of pants? Jeez, man. When was your last shower? How many pants do you have? Yeah, uh, about that. My suitcase got lost before I landed here, so... All right, nice talking to you. On my way. Let's hunt. You don't look well. What happened? <laughs> gork away. I don't want to gork you. Okay. Why don't you just tell me how you got here? Maybe I can help. The gork can gork itself! This gork you keep mentioning, I want to know more about it. <sighs> what are you gawking about? There's nothing more to know about gork! Why in a gork don't you bring me more gork? I can gork you many zorkins in return, but bring me gork! I wouldn't know where to look, my friend. Find Gork here and there, look, but you will have to Gork the rest by yourself. I brought you some of that Gork. What are you going to do with it? Ah, gork. Oof, <laughs> like watching my dad eat oysters. <clears throat> gork you, and Zorkins now. Sorry, are you saying thank you, or... Forget it. You're in jail. I don't want your dirty Zorkins. Who knows where they're coming from? My Zorkins are not Gork. The Gork was digging for precious treasure outside of Emea before becoming the Gork. And I darked it, found many, many Zorkins. But also Gork. So you caught that disease from digging in the ground for treasure, huh? And now you want to trade? That's what I'm talking about. And bring me Gork, and I will Gork you, Sorkins. Ma 
I'm gone. Hey, Azan. You got a minute? What is it? What can you tell me about... I should have shot an arrow through that monster on the very moon he jumped at me. Well, something must have happened to him. He's still a... On my way. What do you think about the... If I had more time to think, I would put these thoughts into the harvest and certainly not waste my time with the Gork. It's an anomaly. That thing shouldn't exist, and it belongs in the cage like the rest of the monsters. Okay. I feel no love for the Gork. None. Poor thing. Anything I need to know? Ha! <laughs> Show him your delicate hands if you need any work. Time to go. Hello, Shamaz Nemet. You returned. I spoke with the Gork. You know All I know is that the Gork doesn't sleep, eat, nor drink. The Gork is just... the Gork. Very enlightening, thank you. Can you... Brace. I gotta go. Yeah.
Hi. What is happening here? Oh my god! I can't believe it! Did the Yod send you to meet with Doc? I wish I knew. The Yods are being a bit vague with me. Who's Doc? I am Doc! Search no more! This is the place! Someone cancelled the conversion ceremony? The invaders did. They shut down the Daukas, the portals that connect all villages on Adelpha. Now, the trip to the Well of Essence is way too long and dangerous. Kirax, the master of ceremonies of Palana, can't perform the sacred ritual of conversion anymore. Even the reverting ceremonies have stopped. Where is the Well of Essence? Young Talans have used the Daokas to visit the Well of Essence for countless moons. It's in Shamazar, a land far, far away. You can't access it on foot. At the well, Hirax performs their conversion ceremonies, but he hasn't been able to since the invasion. There's a whole generation of Talans who have left Kizar, but they're still unsure of their essence. It's a generational existential crisis. So, that's bad, right? Yes! A Talan's life is dictated by their essence. Now, a generation of young Talans like me have... options. It's a nightmare! Tell me more about Hat... Hatso has been the leader of Amiya for as long as I can remember. After what happened to Propriana, he doesn't want Amiya to fight back. He fears we would be reverted. But his passive strategy won't last very long. What happened to bad things? Focus on the good! Your old man around? Kind of. He reverted at the bottom of this lake. I tried to save him, but I can't swim and almost got reverted myself. I'm so afraid of the water. Sorry to hear that. You should learn to swim and practice makes, you know, Perfect. Why would you build your cabin by a lake if you can't swim? The Yods laugh at me because I was denied a proper conversion ceremony. They test me again and again with water, but there's no way I'm an Aloe to land. I hate water. Father hated it too. But I will have the last laugh. I will achieve my destiny. What destiny would that be? Well... The Ancients marked a nearby rock for my father to discover millions of moons later. The engraved stone foretold his only son would find an artifact in a lake. An artifact that would save Amiya from extinction. He tried to claim it for me, but... Water scares me even more now. Can I have a look at the rock you're talking about? My father showed it to so many people. He even made me memorize it in case it was destroyed. No one believed us. Who trusts prophecies anymore, right? Speaking of prophecies, not sure if you're familiar with the Ulukai. Oh my yods! Of course! My father told me everything about the savior of Adelpha. It's you? That's what Liaz seems to think. I don't remember much of my past. The yods have planned our encounter. I will show you the engravings, Ulukai. Together, we can save Amiya on your way to saving Adelpha. Sure. Who am I to go against that level of enthusiasm? What is this ru- That is not exactly clear to me. But Casimir told me it would save my village from the invaders. If the engraving- So it's a weapon. You're the Ulukai. You tell me. No bother. I trust the Yods in their great design. We must make haste, though. Amiya is in danger. The place. <sighs> Surely the ambassador of the Yods would know. I'm following my father's quest, of course. I wanted to pick up where Cosmere left off, so I quit my job in the treetops and spent all my Zorkins on a diving suit. That doesn't really work. Well, that depends. Um, are you t Sounds like a yes! Come, much work to be done! As my father used to say... Show me the ink. Follow me. Here it is. 
Hold on! What's the matter? You go ahead. I'm not worthy to face my father's hazardous yet. What is this? Don't touch it! It's ancient magic! What the... Chalk. Ulukai? Are you alright? Um, Dak... <laughs> you should come and have a look at this. God's almighty! You touched it! What have you done? Casimir always forbid me to... Oh... Unless the ancients were into childish doodles, I think your dad was having a bit of fun with you. It's all... It's very confusing. When was the last time you came here? I was young and naive. There is no artifact. No adventure. I have ruined my life for a false prophecy. Sometimes memories play tricks on us. You know, we see what we want to see. He lied to me. Filled my head with fairy tales. I am so stupid. I should plan my reversion now. Get it over with! Look, Casimir might have elaborated on his story to make it a bit more entertaining. Kids get easily bored, There's you know. nothing in the lakes. Pretending there is won't honor my father's memory or mine. Wait a minute. Your dad didn't draw everything on this rock. There are ancient symbols here, see? I see what you're doing, but Hatso is right. I have to grow up. Have a look for yourself. See those shapes there? I think I know what they are. An X marks the spot. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! You're right, Ulukai! It's a map of the lakes, and there must be something in that one. We're so close! I can feel it, partner. We're partners! Partners? Hold your horses, Doc. I was happy to help, but I have my own agenda, you know. I am so excited! You have to dive into the lake, Ulukai. You have to save Amiya! Are you even listening to what I just... Maybe at the lake! People will write songs about this day! Let's go!
push this thing all the way to Amia? <laughs> Just another day at the office. Guess your dad wasn't the nut job people say. I only wish he could see this. It's, it's so. I have no clue what this is. That makes two of us. But hey, it levitates. That's a start. Not sure how we can use this to fight the invaders, but let's find out together. Your destiny weaves into mine, Ulukai. My father would have been proud. The light at the engraved rock. You really think it's your father's spirit? What's a spirit? It's Cosmere's Hazardous. He reverted before he could accomplish his destiny, so his Hazardous lingers here, unable to journey to Palana until we finish what he started. Cosmere has to find peace before he reunites with the odds. Did Cosmere mention an instruction manual? Or no. He kept repeating this would help our people. He wanted to convince Hatso. So should s okay. Thank you, Ulukai. Why is it me? Our leader Hatso believes he can negotiate with the invaders and spare our village from their tyranny. But I see through his lies. He's been encouraging young Talans to seek job opportunities up north, but they never come back. I heard the invaders capture them into Sun and use them for slave labor. Sounds more like trading than negotiating. Wise words, Uukai. But let's not dwell on the bad. Focus on the good, like Father said. A great treasure. Until next time, Doc. I can't wait. <laughs> we gotta push this thing all the way to Amia. <laughs> Just another day at the office. The wrong target, bird. Too close. 
Make room, my friends! I have a clear shot! Hey! Robin Hood, lower the bow, okay? I don't take orders from you! Fair enough. Oh. Everybody, calm down! This dirty piece of trash smells terrible. Why have you brought this here, stranger? I command you to dump it back where you found it, at once. Hatso, listen to me, Doc. I... we found the relic Casimir was looking for. Of course, you are behind this, you babbling simpleton. This is going to save the village from the invaders, just like the ancients predicted. Nonsense. Do you want to get us all reverted? What? No. There is nothing to see here. Disperse before the invaders spot our gathering from the sky. You and your magic treasure are the talk of the town, Doc. I don't like this. I feel their suspicions. I hope the artifact is safe here. This thing's solid. I pushed it all the way here. It doesn't even have a scratch. I hear something inside. Something loose? Broken? I don't hear anything. It's fine, Doc. <sighs> You're... Tell me who... It's me, D So, what about the Gore? I am puzzled about him. It's a disease I've never seen before. I don't know how I can help him. He keeps asking about Gork, but even if I knew what that was, I wouldn't give it to him. He doesn't say- I hear that. There are a lot of people in Mia. You think someone would know what this thing is? No one knows. It's too- Wait! Nemeth! He's the oldest Talon in town. He has read many scrolls, even some of the most ancient ones. Maybe he has a clue. Until next. I can't. Hello, Shamaz Nemeth. You return? Can you heal? Praise your. Can I ask how... Older than a fresh hoti, and younger than a fey tree. You are the master of being vague. I'm the master of controlling my emotions. Expect anger and rage next time you ask a male Talam that question. Didn't mean to offend you, Nemet. The reason I ask is this thing we dredged up from the lake, it seems really old. Like, ancient. I thought a guy with your... experience, uh came across it in a scroll or something. Hmm. I recall no description of such an object, and I've read my fair share of scrolls, both mundane and sensational. The item looks like it's from a pre-Talan era. Where can I find informative scrolls? Maybe Doc can read them to me. Doc wouldn't know where to start. Most treetop inhabitants can't read, except maybe for more who took late classes. Your best chance would be to ask a scholar at... Yeah, I think I lost my library card. Can I borrow yours? Ah, a joke. Was it funny? Forgive me for not laughing. Humor harms the purity of the essence. Where is the Dano... Good question. Does it still exist? Was the Dano library totally destroyed with the bombing of Procreana? Or does just a sliver still remain? You sh Were all the scholars, uh, reverted to? I heard the assistant of the head librarian dodged a reversion the day the invaders unleashed their wrath upon Procreana. If he's alive. Sounds like I should find him soon, then. His name is Kureg. His ears were already shot when I was borrowing scrolls in my young age. I can't imagine the bombs help his hearing. He might be the best hope to understand your artifact. He spent his whole life stuck. Kurag, huh? I'll try to find him. Thanks. 
I would say good luck, stranger, but you make your own luck. Yes, have you heard about this career guy? I was about to call... Daoka now. Let's meet. Move it, Slade. They're coming. Gore corruption. Ugh. It stinks like giant rotten eggs. I should be more careful. You and your magic treasure are the talk of the town, Doc. I don't like this. I need to visit Procriana. There's an old scholar there named Kuro. I'll be waiting here, despite Hatso's efforts. 
He is so afraid the invaders will spot the artifact from the sky and shoot at it. I'm not sure I even want to feel it, but we... Do you see Nemet? Uh, yeah. I hurt myself a lot, even though I never fell from a tree during the harvest like other Talants. My quest can be dangerous. Until next... I can't... Chief. What in the yachts? Why did you bring this bomb here? <laughs> Relax. I'm pretty sure it's not a bomb. What's so special? You don't smell it? Emir's delightful fragrance. It's famous throughout Adelpha. This land... It... Relax. Pretty sure it's not a bomb. I've seen tons of bombs. This is something else. Was well, kind of hoping you knew what it was. I don't care what it is. I don't want it here. It will explode, or worse, it will attract the invaders. Either way, Emir becomes a... So I got to talking with Doc. I am chief, so you will want my advice. Don't take anything Doc says too seriously. He was such a fine harvester. Now he's... Well, you know. Is Nemet a... Yes, although he can be too generous. He wastes so much time and essence on trying to heal Moore's motley band of harvesters. That's all. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, they won't let me revert in peace.
Another glowing flower. No, not 
this way. the reward. and try. Bet there's something sweet inside. the good stuff.
so harmful. used to this.
How am I supposed to keep an eye on you if you keep sneaking out? My father executed four prisoners today. Four. Just because they won't tell him how to access that damn island. He has no choice. What we need is on that island. I'm the negotiator on this mission, so let me negotiate. We don't have to torture them. I'm with you, but you don't understand. I promised your father that I would take care of you. Well, this is your chance to do it. Cover me while I establish contact.